Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make the porch, the front porch to this house. Pretty easy. Now I'm going to move this around so I can definitely see the other line underneath that that was made when we originally extruded the roof up. I'm going to select that line and select the bottom line. Again, still all in edge. I'm going to go to the connect, and now I'm going to actually use two segments because I'm going to make the portion of where the door is. I'm going to pinch them a little closer together too because I don't need the door to be really, really huge. I'm going to hit OK, and we have those. Now that I have that basic foundation for the front of the house, I'm going to go to the front. I'm going to select the two lines we just created, go to connect, and I'm still going to have two segments. I'm going to pinch them a little closer together because this will be the top of where our porch is. This will be the roof for the porch. I'm going to move that down a little bit. Easy enough. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm actually going to select these lines again and hit connect. This time I'm just going to use one segment. We don't need any pinch, obviously, but we're still going to slide this up a little bit. This will be the bottom, the porch itself. I'm going to hit OK. Now, also notice since I've been making these lines and when I connect these lines, it kind of starts to segment them. When I select this, I don't select this whole line. I just select that small portion of it, and same here. That's no big deal. That's just something to uh, keep in mind when you're modeling. All right, now I'm going to go back to the polygon option. And again, I can see a visual indication of this, both because polygon is right there, selected and highlighted in yellow, but also because this little square right here will, will be highlighted. All right, I'm going to get another little vantage point over here. I'm going to select this polygon, and I'm going to, again, hold down Control and select the bottom one. And I'm just going to go down to the Extrude option again in the Edit Polys menu, click on the main button, and since both of those are selected, I'm going to go over and actually see that Extrude icon. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, and then by moving my mouse forward or backwards, I can move that around. Now I can bring it inside, but why would I want to do that? We're making a porch. So I'm going to bring that out, and I'm going to bring this about that far. And there we go. We have the beginnings of the porch. Now let's go ahead and make the roof of the porch very similar to the same way that we did the roof for the actual house itself. I'm going to select that top point and make sure I still have extrude done in the polygon and I'm just going to bring it up. Pretty easy, right? Alright, now we're going to go back to connect, edge, go down to connect, I'm going to select the f that back line and this front line, hit connect, I just need one but I don't need any slide on it. Okay, and I have that. I'm going to hit W again to get that, and then I'm going to raise the roof on the porch. Check it out. Now we can actually go in and bring in the eaves on this by selecting that edge and then moving it around. I'll do the same for this edge over here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see a little bit better. And there we go. We have both the roof for the actual house itself and the roof for the porch, and the porch made. How awesome is that? Now, I'm actually going to extrude this out a little bit more just for fun. So let's go back to polygon, and we'll just select this front polygon, and we'll go down again and make sure that extrude is selected in the Edit Polys menu. We'll get a little bit better vantage point and bring it out a little bit. So this is more like an actual porch. All we need now are the columns on the porch. We're not going to make circular columns. We're just going to make square columns. Circle columns wouldn't be that hard, but eh, we'll just do square for right now. So I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. I'm going to go back to Edge, and using that in the Connection tool, I'm going to just make that, make those columns. Connect it. Now, I recommend making the columns separately. We're going to just go with two segments, pinch those things close together, and then slide them over to the edge. Hit OK. I have two, and I'm going to make sure this kind of matches that. It's going to be hard to get it exact because the actual lines that we're connecting have gotten s shorter because of we've already segmented them over here. But that's about right, so I'm going to hit that. I'm going to select those two, and I'm going to select these two over here and actually go back to connect. And now we can do both of them at the same time. Streamlining. I'm going to move those back a little bit for the slide. All right, now that we have those, this is the really easy part. We're just going to go back to Polygon and extrude these up. 
So go back down to the extrude, make sure you have both of those selected, and then just bring those up into the roof. Uh-oh, it looks like we overshot it a little bit. I'm actually going to go out and show you what that looks like. For the visual reference, we'll go back down to make sure it stays inside the actual roof. There we go. We have made the porch and we have made the roof. Go out a little bit. Click that little house so we can see everything from the edge. It's starting to look kind of like the haunted house, don't you think? I'll move some stuff around so you can uh, see them better. And it's starting to look kind of like the haunted house over here. We got the porch with the columns. We got the roof. Now... The main features that we're probably missing, or you'll notice that we're missing, are the chimneys at the top, and also this cool little window up here that comes up out of the roof. Now, you're probably also asking me, Alex, well, obviously those are missing, but the windows are missing themselves. Guys, don't worry about the windows. That's what texturing is for. I'll show you that. You're getting ahead of yourselves. But we're going to stop right here with this tutorial, because I've done a whole lot and explained a whole lot to you guys, and this is probably borderlining on the edge of too much for uh, YouTube. Yeah, so go ahead and go to the next tutorial, and we'll see those chimneys that I, we mentioned, we'll see that window coming up out of the roof, and then we'll get everything ready to start texturing in Photoshop. Thanks for listening. Can't wait to teach you guys some more.